National Anthem tonight performed by the Culver Community Cavalier Pet Band under the direction of Mr. Jason Crittenden. And we are ready for our starting lineups provided by the Indiana Army National Guard. First for the Lady Falcons, a senior number two, Haley J. A junior number 10, Katie Kennedy. A sophomore, number 24, Kendall Birdwell. A junior, number 33, Madison Mears. And a junior, number 35, Ashlyn Minier. They are under the direction of Danielle Scheiding in her first year. For the Cavaliers. Seniors getting the nod on senior night. At point guard, number 10, Grace Sieber. At guard, number 20, Giselle Viegas. And go, the other guard, number 30, Alexa O'Brien. And the two forwards tonight, a freshman and a junior. Number 40, Brooke Davis. And number 51, Amaya Williams. How was the school day, Bryn? It was good. First day, officially back, so yeah. that's fun. It's better, fun. Better than yesterday? <laughs> yeah, I think anything would have been. <laughs> what do we got tonight? What's the uh, what's the giveaway? Uh, oh, it looks like candy. Candy. We got yeah. it all over the floor. Oh, Lord. Already the cheer block. He's already uh, <laughs> spilt the candy. Cassidy Banks, the last senior for the Cavs. Make sure she gets a shout out. Uh-oh. <laughs> I was going to say, your, your dad went over and sat in the student section right away. He knows. He saw the candy on the floor. <laughs> Davis, Sieber, Viegas, Williams, and O'Brien on the floor for the Cavaliers. Williams will take the tip. And Frontier will win that one. They'll lose control of it. Foul right away. It's going to be on Amaya Williams. Trying to get after the loose ball there. So things not off to a great start in the first three seconds for the Cavaliers. And Birdwell will run the point. Cavaliers. In the zone, she drives baseline, throws one up, no good. It's going to be rebounded by Jay, and she'll circle it around the rim for two. Lady Falcons on the board early. Also come out in the 2-3. There's a tip there by Jay. It'll roll to one of the day children, and he'll rebound. <laughs> Terry Clifton looked annoyed he had to move for that one. Screen by Williams, they get it to her, it's batted away, and it's gonna end up in the hands of Brooke Davis. She'll get it to Viegas, back to Sieber, who'll drive down. Get it inside to Williams, she'll drive in, kick it back out to Sieber. She'll drive the paint, take a step, and put one in. Cavaliers look to be pressing here. Lose the ball, but gain control of it. We'll get it down in the corner to Minier, down inside to Jay for two. So Haley Jay has all the points thus far for Frontier. As Sieber loses control of it, taken away by Jay, she spin moves, picks it up, waits till her team crosses the timeline. They get it back and that is Minier with the ball. Over to Birdwell. 
Back to Minier, looks to do something with it. Birdwell controls it, wide open is Jay underneath the basket. They get it at the timeline, that was Mears. Mears in the corner, loses control of it. She's gonna out be of out of bounds. Cavaliers look to get things set up. O'Brien for three. No good. It's going to be rebounded by Siebert. She's going to get it inside to Williams, who's going to go throw one up. That's going to be rebounded by Minier. Skip pass down to Jay. She's going to get bodied by Sieber, and she'll head to the free throw line. So Haley J at the line misses the first one. Haley J at the line for the Falcons. Second one's no good. It's going to be grabbed by Amaya Williams. She'll immediately get it to Sieber, who gets it down to Brooke Davis. Kicked out back to Sieber. Sieber looks to take a three-shot fakes, drives the lane, throws one up over to Viegas, and she did travel. Cavaliers pressing here. Get it in the middle to Minier. She'll drive, gonna drive right up the lane. She's gonna dish it off to Mears. A little contact there. Falcons wanted a foul, no call. Birdwell rolls off the front of the rim. And Alex O'Brien will lose the rebound out of bounds. Jay for three. Short. That's going to be rebounded by Brooke Davis, who's going to try to get it to Sieber. She'll finally do it. Takes it across the timeline. Drives the lane, kicks it off to Viegas. Back to her. She'll take one from just inside the arc, and it's good. All tied up 4-4. 4.49 left to go in this one. Birdwell with the ball. Gets it to Jay. Jay drives the paint. Around O'Brien. Throws one up. No good. Bounces around. It's going to be grabbed. It should be a jump ball there. Good hustle by Giselle Viegas. That was Viegas and Kennedy. And that's going to be uh, Hamilton coming in the game for Culver. She'll run the point as Coach Nice said. Two minutes is enough for our seniors, and we're, <laughs> we're going to go back to our original starters. Turnover there by O'Brien. Ball batted out of bounds, Ooh. taken away by Sieber. She's going to go up with it, gets blocked by Minier, loses it out of bounds. And that is going to be Haley Parker coming in already for... Uh, O'Brien. I was going to say that's unusual to take Hamilton out yeah. that quickly. <laughs> Jay with it to Birdwell. Back to Jay. Minier. I think that's Jay for a deep three. Air ball and Cavalier student section letting her hear it. <laughs> that's her second one. Anticipate a ball screen coming here from Williams, but they'll go to Hamilton. She'll get it back to her. Down to Parker. Parker looks, gets it back to her, and there's going to be a foul there coming from Haley J. So the first foul tonight for the Falcons. Hamilton with the inbound to Sieber. Cavaliers setting up the offense. Looks like they're playing a, still in the 2-3. 
Ball to Parker. She'll look to do something with it. It gets denied by Birdwell. That's an interesting. They give up the lane, but won't give up the pass to Sieber. Down inside, that's going to be batted away, and they're going to lose it out of bounds. It'll be Lady Cav ball on the sideline. Brooke Davis inbounds ball, stolen by Jay, and out of bounds. Good job. I was worried you weren't going to say anything in the first three minutes. Yeah. So, it is Sieber as Brooke Davis gets a couple of instructions from Coach Nice. Get it over down inside to Davis. She waits, little contact, no call. Tries to take it away from Minnie here, but looks like Minnie here is going to bring it up in transition. 5'9", Junior. Jay with the ball. Looks to get it inside to Mears. She'll go up with it. No con Looks like a lot of contact. No foul there. Get it down inside. They'll call that a jump ball. Down in the corner to Kennedy, back inside, high off the glass, no good. It's going to be rebounded, taken away by Hamilton. We'll get the outlet pass. Sieber brings it up, gets it inside to Williams. Williams puts it up off the glass, rolls back, oh. batted around. It's going to be finally picked up by, that it was Parker that picked it up. Both girls look a little shaken up from that one. As Birdwell brings the ball across the 10-second line. Looks for somebody. Aggressive defense played by Parker. That block, Slotted. that shot's blocked by Amaya Williams. It's it out to Hamilton. Hamilton for three off the front of the iron. She gets her own rebound, oh. gives it to Parker. Parker will lose it out of bounds, though. So 137 remaining here in the first quarter. Still tied up 4-4. Four to four. That is Kennedy with the ball. Lose it to Steele credited to Parker. After being batted around, it'll be picked up by Jay, who will try to take it to the rim. She'll get fouled, no call. And I think they're going to get Amaya Williams with that one. And that's her second. That is Williams' second. Second in the first. Definitely puts the Cavaliers in a tough situation. Looks like Schlemmer's going to be coming off the bench for Williams. And Gracie No coming in the game for... Ashlyn Minier. Could be Miniar. Hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. M I N N I E A R. Miniar. Hamilton with it. Gets it back to Sieber. Sieber thought about it. Over to Parker. Parker for three. Looks good. Off the front of the glass. Going to be rebounded by, uh, that is, Mears. To Kennedy. And finally to Birdwell. Intercepted by Sieber. She'll take it all the way. Contact, hand to the back, no call there. And they're going to get the outlet pass to Jay, who's going to get pushed by Haley Parker. Haley Parker. I don't. The new rule is five, right? Five and then you shoot? Five and a quarter, yeah. Shooting five and a quarter. 38.1 seconds left to go here in the first. Five to four in favor of Frontier. Ooh. Ball batted around. Brooke Davis should be 
Frontier ball, it is. Looks like they're going to inbound to Birdwell. No, she's going to go with Mears. Short corner off the front of the rim. Grabbed, loose ball on the floor. Two Cavaliers go after it. It'll be a jump ball. So 15 seconds left to go here. Sieber with the ball. Got a ball screen coming from Brooke Davis. She rolls, grabs it, puts it up. It's short, rebounded by Jay. She's going to lose it to Davis. Davis will make the long attempt. And I don't think they're going to give that one to her anyway. But yeah, no. So at the end of one, five to four is your score. We'll be right back. It's like Gracie No, Minier, Jay, Kennedy, and... Birdwell in the game for Frontier. Hamilton, Davis, Schlemmer, Sieber, and Parker for Culver. They're going to call the travel there. There was a lot of those yesterday and, and today so far that, that didn't get called. I was a little surprised that <laughs> they called that one, especially in the boys' game. They Maybe. always let a couple go normally. Three Ooh. ball is good by Sieber. Yep, that's going to be a foul by Davis. Her first. Foul number 40 of the Cavaliers, Brooke Davis. That's her first foul. Team first of the second quarter. Jay with it. Looks to drive baseline, tries to kick it out to Birdwell. Birdwell for three. Short. That one shall, falls short off the fingertips of Haley J. So Lady Cavs will get the ball. Sieber drives the baseline, puts it up, and it's good. So Sieber will go to the line for the bonus shot. Thought they were going to call travel for a second. Yeah. They took an extra step to get under there. Lots of switching going on there. Sieber's free throw is good. 10 to 5 here. Kennedy with the ball. Looks inside, tries to go to Mears, ends up getting it to Minier. Back Ooh. to Birdwell, who loses it. It'll be intercepted by uh, Hamilton. Hamilton. I, you know what? Poor Hamilton. <laughs> Poor Maddie. I am horrible at three. her name coming. Deep three. No good. <laughs> she gets in the weight room. Yeah. It's funny is they brought her out of the paint. I don't know why, especially when our our forwards are on the bench. Yep. Why would you bring her out? That's Ooh. illegal screen there. Illegal screen that didn't get called. It was more of a box out while they were dribbling, though. So another turnover Yikes. for for Frontier. Schlemmer with the ball. She can shoot. Does. Minier with the ball. Birdwell. That ball's going to be batted away. Alexa O'Brien comes in for Haley Parker. Mears with it to Kennedy. Birdwell up top. Inside loses control of it. 
Back to her, looks to set something up. Backside. Uh-oh. That's her second. Yep, that is going to be Davis' second, I believe. Mr. Dunn and I were talking. The starters for the Cavaliers tonight were 10, 20, 30, 40, and 51. I said it didn't bother me until he said it, and then it was. And then, yeah. Let's go, go in the locker room, put 50 on. I don't know if we have a 50. We should. I think. Right. Uh, I don't remember anyone ever having 50. I think Gwen Zaner was 50, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. So that was Birdwell. One for two from the free throw line. Schlemmer for three. It's good. She gets on. She's on. Yeah. Let's hope it's tonight. <laughs> Erdwell heads to the corner, turns around, brings it back out, gets it to Kennedy. Trying to force it inside to Mears, back out to Minier. She'll drive the paint, throw one up, get the over-the-back call. So that's, is that her second? I thought it was her first. Uh, it probably is. Yeah. Yes. That's what I had, but I thought it was her second. <laughs> I was hoping maybe it was her yeah. second. It was a good player. Hit it. Wide open is O'Brien like for three. So. Oh, in and out. Rebounded by Kennedy. Mini here. Birdwell. Dribbles over to the corner. That stolen ball's by Grace. stolen by Sieber. She'll put it up for two. Timeout, Cavaliers. So we'll take a timeout, and so will we. We'll be right back. Welcome back here. Justin Croy, Bren Barrett with you. Inbound pass goes to Birdwell, brings it quickly across the timeline, gets it to Kennedy. Looks to go down inside to Mears. She'll get it. Alley oop pass back to No. Birdwell with it, loses it. Skip pass over to Hamilton. Hamilton. Yep. I was waiting on it. Stop. She'll shoot for three, good. and it's good. Maddie Hamilton. So this is not the last home game for the Lady Cavs. However, with Friday night's planned 10th anniversary celebration of the 2014 sectional champions, uh, tonight was, was indeed senior night. So because of that during the doubleheader. That's going to be Mears driving the baseline. She's going to step out of bounds. Oh. Mr. Boldry will call a technical foul. I've seen him do it. <laughs> yeah, she wasn't too happy about that one. Double screen there. Ooh. Schlemmer gets it over to Hamilton. Ball screen. She ooh. Looks like this run and weave to get Shot. Schlemmer open. Ooh. That Short. one's off. Rebounded by Mears. It's funny because I can't tell if your dad likes the things the cheer block's saying or not. Because he smiles, but they don't continue. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I think he'd, I don't know. <laughs> He's got a Mountain Dew. He's just yeah. chilling. Hey, they're not saying anything bad right now. He had a stressful day yesterday. Oh, I know. We got him some Subway <laughs> during sixth hour after things calmed down. <laughs> Schlemmer from the free throw Ooh. line. No contact. Trouble? Oh, jump ball. 
I love that call, though. Mm -hmm. Some guys would call foul for rolling over. Some people call traveling for rolling over. Some people call, you know, all kinds of crazy stuff. Till things calm down, <laughs> just it's a jump ball. Schlemmer loses control of it. He gets it back down inside. Finally bounced around. Ooh, long. I'd like to see the Lady Cavs pull this out here and start something else. Schlemmer for three. Looks good. Not. Rebounded by Mears. Gets it to mini air. So much true trash talking goes on in girls basketball. No. None? No. Nobody says a word? I um, mean, you know, a couple. It's not anything compared to boys, really. What is that, the fourth air ball? <laughs> yeah, several air balls. And I bet they got their own rebound, and she'll go to the block and was open for a second. Jay will get it. Batted away by Schlemmer. Finally recovered by Hamilton. Back to Sieber as she brings it across half court. Ooh. I think Schlemmer might be able to attack here. Gonna have to box her out if we want, uh, if yeah, we want a rebound. She's tonight. rebounding pretty well right now. Skip pass over to Kennedy. Corner. Down to, uh, is that Birdwell? Ooh, they're gonna get O'Brien with a foul. Her first. 23 is no, Gracie no. Okay. But Birdwell is coming back in. 18 to six your score. A minute four left to go here in the first half. This one's flying by. I anticipate the ball's going to mini air. I was wrong. Nope. Mears. Dribbles passed. Jay for two. First basket of the second half for the Falcons. Comes with 49 seconds left to go on the clock. Ooh. There you go. I don't like that one. Was that moving screen? Is that what he called? I think that's what they're going to call, but maybe she wasn't quite set. But. I think two has also been trying to sell that all night, too. Yeah. My response to that is, uh, sorry we get in the weight room. <laughs> Shouldn't have to apologize for it. I'm sure that's what they're saying with uh, Ashlyn Minier. So Sieber with the ball. 20 seconds left to go. Face guarded by Jay. And no one Looks is moving. Looks to dribble around. Uh, She'll lose it. Get it to Hamilton. Over to. O'Brien open. Short. Three. She air balls it. 5.3 seconds left to go. See if the Cavaliers get up to press here. Should be. And Coach Nice will call him on. Ah. Well, the good news is. Shooting for this one. Everybody but Parker and Schlemmer, who are, and Ivan Torres have one foul. <laughs> that is good news. Good news for the Falcons. 2.3 seconds left to go here. And that was the fifth foul, and Jay will put that one in. Second one's no good. And that will end the first quarter where your, or excuse me, first half. Your score 18 to 9 in favor of the Lady Cavs. We're going to take a short timeout and we're going to be right back after this. So Davis, Sieber, O'Brien, Williams, and Schlemmer starting for the Lady Cavs. Jay with the ball. Birdwell into the paint, man. Another foul coming. Is that going to be Davis's third? Oh, I hope not. 
Yikes, that is. And Haley Parker in for <laughs> Brooke Davis. Yeah, definitely. Birdwell at the line. First one's no good. I think she did an awesome too. Yep. Oh, they're pressing. Yep. Now they go into the press. Ooh. Ooh. And the travel called there. So, a little bit different ball game here from Frontier. Stolen oh. away by Parker, batted out of bounds by Parker. No, that's the wrong spot, Mr. <laughs> Dixon. That's, she, she was in the right spot. He's probably thinking, I've uh, been an official for 25 years. Uh, I got this, yeah. Yeah. You can't <laughs> oh. change it on me in one year and expect me to know everything. That's going to be on O'Brien, which is her second as well. So the Lady Cavs with not much depth on the bench here. You have uh, a first-year ball player in Vegas and Hamilton. And Brooke Davis with three, though. Davis, yeah, Davis with three, and so Meredith may have to suit up. <laughs> Alexa wide open. Stolen away by Mears. Oh. Coach kind of going offense defense already. In between the legs pass, rebounded by, ooh. Oh, oh. Close. She knows that was. <laughs> this guy struggled a little bit last night. I don't think, what do you think? You thought that was a foul? No. No, neither did I. I think she was just trying to save the ball. Yeah, she was straight up. I don't know what more you want yeah. from a defensive player. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I you know, appreciate getting the call, but. <laughs> girl plays basketball the right way and gets punished. Schlemmer drives baseline. Oh, and out of bounds. Off of Kennedy. So with a minute left to go, this is. Pretty much the first time Letty Cavs have had the ball this this far down the court. Williams with it. Over to Schlemmer. Schlemmer will think about it and take it. That ball's rebounded by Minier. Inside to Mears. Batted back around. And that's going to be Minier's first points of the night. Backside. And O'Brien for two on senior night. Timeout, Falcon. It's an interesting timeout. Getting on him about the press, I think. This will be a 30 second timeout. I don't know. This breaking it. We, we're going to stay here on this break. 30 second timeout. I, I, I don't know why she would call that at that particular. They had momentum there. Yeah. I mean, they they came out and scored three points right away. And in a ball game like this, that's a big deal. And Culver scores two and breaks their press, I should say. And then they're immediately back into Interested to see what Culver does here, if they will press. Looks, no. Nope. Just one. Smart move, with girls in foul trouble. Freshman on the bench. Oh. 
Birdwell with it. She likes the drag dribble. Kennedy. Oh, backside open. Long two. And finally, it's going to be batted around and frontier ball. Yeah. I feel like they're running the same inbound play every time. Back to Jay. Oh. And they're going to get her with that one. <laughs> so that's two on her. Wide open backside is Amaya Williams. Good luck. That play looks familiar. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh. Two point basket of Maya Williams. <laughs> but for the wrong team. Who scored that? Can you give it to Jay? I don't, I guess. Backside again. Birdwell steps in, throws one up, high off the glass, grabbed eventually, and Ooh. outletted to. You got to be ready for that, though. That's yeah. You see it come down. You got to you got to be ready to grab the ball. You can't be running into four girls on the floor <laughs> going after a ball. You're not going to run in yeah. and get it. Just be prepared for that. Birdwell with it. Steps in. That's going to be Minier. Schlemmer with the ball. See what she'll do. Gets it to Williams. Williams, lots of contact. Holy cow. Oh, he called it on Amaya? He's going to call that on Amaya Williams. Let's see if Coach Woo. Nice will say anything. Come on. That was. That's her fourth, correct? That is her third. Oh, okay. Team third. Wide opens Jay, drives baseline. Out, Out of bounds. bounds. Three ball from Hamilton. Batted around. Jay with it. She's going to bring it up quick into the paint. Little contact. Gets her own rebound. Puts it back up. Interesting ball game. Very interesting ball game. <laughs> I don't know what the Frontier coach said, uh, Scott Dixon, the official. But he just looked at her and said, <laughs> please, like, come on. <laughs> so Sieber with it. Ooh, that looked like a, like a walk. She'll drive the baseline, get it back, see if they can rotate it. Three ball just off. Goes to Minier. She's got to be leading rebounding right now. Oh, yeah, I would assume so. 
Grabbed by Sieber, two on two. That's Sieber's first points of the half. That, see, last night, that was over and back. That we talk, Mr. Dunn and I talked about that last night. That is an over and back call because she didn't, or sorry, Mr. Zayner and I last night, that was called over and back. And then Mr. Dunn and I spent 15 minutes in the hallway today talking about how that was an over and back call. You're saying that one is? Yeah, because she has to establish herself as having position in the front court before she can grab the ball. She can't jump stop into the pass and, yeah. like that. Now, I don't like it. I, don't li I think that should be legal. But it isn't. It, yeah. I actually didn't know that. The only reason I bring it up tonight is because I didn't know it last night. I thought that that was okay as long as once all three points, both feet and the ball were established on one side, as long as the ball didn't go back over. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. But, but, no, that would have should have been over and back. I looked down as soon as that happened, and Trevor was talking to Mr. Dunn about it. So <laughs> I knew that they were. Yeah. Tipped out by a mile. 18 to 26. Hamilton with a foul. Her second. So Birdwell with it. Ooh, backside was open. Deep three from many here. Five point difference. Lady Cavs had the momentum. Mm. Not so much anymore. If it's me, this is my time for a timeout. Yeah. Oh. Hamilton will take the ball out of bounds. He's on his third count, and they'll get it into Schlemmer. She'll show some fancy dribbling. Try to get it down inside of Amaya Williams. Stolen. Yeah, foul there. Uh-oh. I think that's going to be on Schlemmer. Yeah. And they should be shooting. Well, the good news was it was on Schlemmer. Yeah, not on my own. Yeah. I feel like this year we've been getting a lot of foul trouble. Lady Cavs without Brooke Davis. One eleven left to go here. Five point difference in the third quarter. Birdwell at the line, gets her second one. <laughs> 24, that's gonna be on Birdwell, her first. It is Bridwell. I was saying, you could say. I know, I just looked at it. I wonder it. which one was it's wrong. It's B-R-I-D, not B-I-R-D. Birdwell. <laughs> I thought it was Birdwell. I'll probably keep on saying Birdwell. Yeah. We're this far into the 50 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Might as well, right? And they're back to... Oh, back to the press yeah. here. Travel. Ooh. No. That's her fourth. Foul number 51 of the Cavalier by Williams. That's her fourth foul.
That might be the worst, uh, worst explanation I've ever heard in my life by an official. He said she had her, she had her arms down. It was standing yeah, straight up. <laughs> I don't know what you saw, but. Ooh, two-point game difference. Did she have both of those? Yeah, I think so. Hamilton with the ball. Gets it back up to Schlemmer. Piers Lady Cavs are looking for one shot here. Davis back in the game. O'Brien. Wide Ooh. open. Ooh. Got to make something happen. Lots of contact. No call. Oh, no way. And that's going to put him ahead 27-24. I would have called that an illegal screen on Brianna Schlemmer if I was down there. Short rebounded by Mears. Gracie No in the game. Oh, that's off the hands. That's off. Yeah, that's gonna say that's off the hands of. Uh, well, who is that? That is. Mm, hold on here a second. I'm sorry. Uh, Gabby No. Okay, I thought I thought it was Gracie No. Again, I was like, what? Oh God. Gabby and Gracie No. Oh. So you might not remember this, but there was a time where these official shoes became popular. And it was like every official had the same pair of shoes on. Seriously? Like, yeah, they were wearing these like Reebok Zigs. They were like the, they were Reeboks, but they had like the. Z-line? Like but zigzag? every official had patent leather shoes. <laughs> and the only official in a long time that I've seen wear patent leather officiating shoes is Scott Dixon down there. Huh. It's nice to see that they're making a comeback. <laughs> Are they or is he just wearing them? <laughs> Corner shot, short. They were called Zigtex. Huh. Yeah, I've never heard of that before. That's a steal there by. A, was that not a travel? Wow. No way. Probably a foul Ooh. that forced her into that. Yeah. And I were talking at the break about Friday night is boy-girl doubleheader versus the Triton Trojans conference game and 2014 sectional champion 10th anniversary night. Excited to see some of those guys again. <laughs> The two off the front of the rim. Going to be rebounded by No. Jay with the ball, drives the baseline. Gets trapped in the corner, stolen away. Grabbed by O'Brien. O'Brien out to Hamilton. Hamilton for three, no good. See if she can get her own rebound. She can. Nice pass Backside, there. Backside, back. Oh, Alexa. Oh, they're going to get it on the floor, though. So that is going to be on Bridwell. Oh, no, Gabby, no. And here comes Kennedy and Minier. Your coach needs. Who do you put on Minier? Um, probably Davis. With four fouls. 
Either Davis or Sl Slummer. No one else is big enough. I'm going with Sieber. I'm going to say you could play like you're zoning one. Yeah. You're following her wherever she goes. Well, I think they have been zoned. I think they've just been in the traditional 2 3. Yeah. But I, w I would man her and, and just deny her the entire time. She didn't like that call. No. And I think rightfully so. They haven't called that all game. But. Yeah. I don't think it was on her. I was gonna. That's on Jay though. Her fourth. Back to Sieber inside, Ooh. high off the glass and off for Davis. Cavaliers, kind of a two-one-two. Good grab there by Alexa O'Brien. But Maya Williams back in. Still scoreless here in the fourth quarter with four minutes and 44 seconds to go. Three ball. Good. Rolls in. Williams will come in for O'Brien. Culver with three forwards in the game. Well, I guess that's traditional, right? Yeah. Three guards, really, two forwards, but it's going to be Kennedy. All tied up. Well, we could kind of tell by records that that was going to be a game. It was going to be a game tonight. Yeah. We'll be bringing you the game Friday night as long as there is a game. Oh. Keeping an eye on the weather. Mr. Zaner's keeping an eye on the weather. Oh, that no. ball off sh the foot of Davis. She picks it up. Doesn't even think about it. Drive to the, there you go. That a girl. Got to finish though. Isn't that a call off your foot? Like if Only if you're on the defense. Oh. Usually. Sorry. And they're gonna get over the foot drag. Somehow, and I, this is the weirdest dynamic of any high school gym I've ever been in. We have our parents are on one side. The, the opposing team's fans are in the middle. Yeah. And that's Sieber for two. And. I'm cheer block. <laughs> see, one, that's, a, that's the same thing once again. She wasn't, she wasn't established. Yeah. That ball's denied, knocked out of bounds. Anyways, and then our cheer block's on the far side. Yeah. And <laughs> it, I know with the girls' games, because of the attendance, we've been keeping the bleachers in for a couple years. Mm -hmm. Oh, and now the now cheer block's on there. Yep. I think that's the first time all year. Yeah, boys and girls. Yeah. Why Kennedy for two. Ooh. That's good. It's only two, though. Schlemmer for three, Ooh, wide. Wow. Long, yeah, that's a better word. Yeah. Intercepted Sorry. by Sieber. Backside. Ooh. Oh, his shot's blocked, but she gets her own rebound. Another three, looks good for Schlemmer. Oh. Ooh. I think Mears, Madison Mears might be, might be injured. And it's good by Bridwell. 31-34 is your score. <laughs> I'm watching your dad. 
yell at these guys. <laughs> That's going to be a full timeout. Let's hear from our main sponsor, the Indiana Army National Guard, Noel Pratt and Sergeant Patrick Dobson, which was to be expected. Both teams lost over 10 games this year as girls' season winds up. Frontiers and man now. Ooh, good luck. They can stay. They can stay there. <laughs> we did. We. Uh, I know Coach Nice has a playbook that's very thick, full of man-to-man -man plays. So. <laughs> Apologize, Brendan. She hit both of those. I saw the last one. Oh, it just happened. Both coaches on the floor. Ooh. Both Adam and AJ on the floor can't get a timeout called. Rebound there by Alexa O'Brien. Gets it to Sieber. She's got Brooke Davis on the backside. Oh. She's going to lose control of it. Finally gained. Finally got the attention. Yeah, man, I don't know how many times you got to tell that guy. We want a timeout. It's got blinders on. He said, I can't watch the play and watch you. Well, can you hear me yeah. screaming yeah. for a timeout as I've basically followed you from half court to the baseline? Yep. That would be. Ooh. I always love when officials come over and ask the scorekeeper how many timeouts we have when it's on the scoreboard. Yeah. I'm always one of those guys that goes, it says TOL for a reason. Yeah. It's going to be a good one here. 118 left to go. Lady Caps trail by two with the ball underneath the basket. We'll say ball should be on this side. They got that right. I thought. I, I didn't remember. I know the Fisher was standing there because yeah. I was watching him yell at Coach Nice for doing his job. Down inside. Who's that on? I don't know. It was a quick foul. I didn't even see her down there. I didn't either. We have zero fouls this quarter. Doing pretty good. <laughs> Plus Trevor's not doing his job. He's usually pretty good. He's, most of the time he's on top of it. And her second one's good. Ridwell pulls it out. The minute left to go. Lady Cavs trail by one. Ooh. Over to Brooke Davis. Davis takes it in, tries to finish. I think that should have been out on, on Davis. Probably should have been foul called, but. I think her whole hand hit that Yeah, ball. I think she. Ooh. Hey, take it. Yeah, absolutely, especially in this situation. 56 seconds to go. Cavaliers get the ball to Schlemmer. Oh. 
See if coach gets a timeout coming here. 30 seconds left to go. She gets it inside to her. They pull it back out, and there comes the timeout. There we go. I had a feeling that was coming after the play broke down. <laughs> Full timeout. So will we. We'll be right back. Or even, even after the shot, really. But depends what we get. Yeah. Sieber gets it inside. Puts it up. Lots of contact. No call. Foul now, yep. Good heads up play by... Uh, sorry, good heads up play by Grace Sieber. Coach Neese was subbing in Parker and Viegas, and I was watching him, what he was doing. Yeah. Getting people with fouls to give in. And Frontier's going to call a timeout here. So that's going to be a full timeout. We're just going to stay here. Ooh. We're going to talk about Friday. Once again, uh, boy-girl doubleheader, Friday night, varsity doubleheader. JV plays tomorrow at Triton. Uh, as long as uh, I've heard lots of different things, what would happen if the weather does this or does that. I do know for a fact that Mr. Zaner has not made a decision. So um, definitely download the event link app. Watch social media in case there is with, uh, with the type of weather that they're calling for. Um, I would say that personally it's probably safe to assume that, uh, that there's going to be some sort of cancellation. And it, it being a conference game, it can't just be canceled, so yeah. it'll have to be rescheduled. Now, as far as the um, anniversary night goes, uh, it may be at a different game. Boy, it'll be a boys game if that's the case. Yeah. Um, I don't know what girls will do. Most likely would break up the doubleheader, and, and the girls would probably have to cancel a game to play because of by county. So it's an interesting it's an interesting situation. Um, we have something going on here with the Ooh. at the scores table, and I don't know quite what happened, but there was an issue with the official book. And something's going on that I, truthfully, I don't know. It looked like subbing. Maybe she came in too late? Must have. Or maybe she came out during the timeout. I'm not, not really sure what happened there. Oh. That's okay. Let's go. We want that. Yeah. Grace just got nailed in the face. Foul number 20 for the Cavaliers. Tell the agent. That's her second ball. Team second. Hamilton guarding Minier. Say so someone's got a foul. I think our entire cheer block was yelling foul. <laughs> foul number 21 for the Cavaliers. That's our third foul. Team's third. Brooke Davis, check back in for the Cavaliers. Here's the thing. Culver needs the ball or they need to send him to the, send him to the free throw line. He got 13 seconds to do it. You got a foul. You got a foul. You got a foul. You got nine seconds now. Coach Nice can't burn his time out because if we do get the ball back, we need it. Oh, yep. We got one there. Yeah. He was ready. Which it's good to see that, that that's yeah. officials paying attention to the game. I don't know about that. Like if it's not a foul, I don't think they should yeah. call it, but. At least I'm trying to foul. I'm putting my hands on somebody, doing everything I can. So yeah. that's Hamilton's fifth foul. But a good game tonight for the Lady Cavs. That's going to put Kennedy at the line. If we get the ball here, I would call a timeout and 
I don't know. Your dad might say play this one. Yeah. Second shot, no good. See if we get out. Oh. All the way. Just drive the lane. Uh -huh. Ooh, three seconds. So I did that. I did that um, elementary game one time. The kid I did not want shooting the ball drove the lane, went up to shot. I called the timeout right before he shot it. The official gate, like as he shot it, the official gave me the timeout. The kid made the basket. Would have won us the game. Your dad came up to me and said, <laughs> "Don't do that in that situation." I said. Oh, okay, if you would have seen the way the kid shot the other <laughs> 10 games of the year, you would have done yep, the same thing. Yep. But <laughs> Sometimes last-minute shots just go in. We're going to stay right here with you. Three seconds left to go. Culver has zero timeouts. Um, I think she signaled one for one for Frontier, but they have two on the clock. So that's why the officials ask. Yeah. All right. I was getting on. I was getting on uh, Mr. Boldry's case for asking when it's on the board. Well, the board's wrong because I just watched Petty do it twice. So <laughs> she signaled one and zero. Oh. See here, three seconds left to go. What can the Lady Cavs put together? <laughs> Be a volleyball player. No timeouts left. Ooh, yep. Floater! Oh! In and out. Well, that, that's a disappointing one for senior night here, where the final score is 33-34 Frontier.